Hey guys, welcome to. Sorry, we're supposed to jump right in right away. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to South Class, guys, and um, we only have one more class after this, and then it's the end of the year, which is a great thing. It is a good thing. We right? made it. Yeah. Well, I think so. We kind of we're working no, on it. Knock on wood. Yeah. Okay. We will make it. All right. Today's South Class is going to be really good. A couple different things that we are going to cover. First of all, I asked you all, what are the holiday events that are kind of tripping you up? I'm sure you've received so Tons. many DMs. Thank you for sending those. Yes, really appreciate it. And um, you guys have been giving us very specific events. So what we've done is we've kind of grouped them into overarching characteristics to help lay out the situation and help lay out the solve. And of course, with any good solve with clothing, it's not so much about an actual outfit idea, but rather the tools that will help you in the long term, you know, feed a man to fish. No. You'll eat forever. Not eat. You don't eat, <laughs> feed a man. Anyway. Okay, and you, you know the Teach you him know. to fish. You're gonna fish. I've had a really busy day. We are okay. not fishing. <laughs> Alright. Wait, is that bad? Yeah. No, it's not eight. <laughs> anyway. Yes, um so we are going to go over the different holiday events that you have. About midway through, we are going to announce uh, the winner of the P code. And I want to remind you guys that um, we are every week we have been giving away a gift until next week, yep. until next week's live. And we we do really believe in the saying that it is better to give than receive. And I know that for all of our team members here, every time we give out a gift, it feels really good when people write to us about why they want to give this to someone or why they. Um, want it from themselves, that makes us feel good. This one made us feel especially good because you guys wrote in about your favorite specialty stores. Mm -hmm. And we say this a lot, I want it to sink in, we do not sell to those gigantic big box retailers out there. We love the small guy, we love what they do in our towns, and we wanna keep them thriving. And um, by all the responses from you guys, you do too. Yep. Sweet. Really appreciate it. So, so let's start in with the holiday things that are like back in the people's heads a little bit. All the and things actually, right? Yes. There's so many places. So yes. a lot of people wrote in about their kids going to a recital, um, which I find very interesting yes. because yours is about to start. Yeah, she thinks she's there now, but we are yeah. not. We are yeah. only on YouTube ballet. Yeah. But when we are, I know I want to feel a certain way. Yeah. So, so the overarching thing with all of these events yeah. is Everyone wants to show up as themselves, Yep. right? So different environment, different rules of the game, different friendship circles at each one of these places, mm -hmm. you still wanna look like yourself, but appropriate in the moment that you're in. Totally. So appropriate without over-compromise. Yes. That's yes, the yes, name. Yes. So would you wanna start with the, like, the recital thing? Or yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very, are you, well, actually, you're not recital. No, no, no. So I have a lot of things going on right now. I'm not going to recitals, but I am doing things with my friends. So I feel like, for me, there's a comfort level in what I have on, but I'm also a little bit sexier with, I'm wearing a sheer skirt. So I think this is a good place to juxtapose recital, and then you're going to these events with your friends, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. So I'm give, like, I'm giving, I'm giving a red sock. Yeah. I have a red sock on here. It's a pop of like, to me, a little sexiness with, even though I'm wearing the skirt with another slip under it, yeah. um, it's sheer. Yeah. So it feels a little too sexy for me to be at a recital. Yeah, and I think that, you know. And I'm focused on me, it's like. Well, yeah, if any of you are, are moms, it's, everyone knows the mom who comes to the kids' recital and they're like, it's about me tonight. No, absolutely it's like, no, not. No, no, it's, it's about little Junior here. But I think that, um, but you could switch this up into, you know. Which I'll show, yeah, yeah. I totally could switch this up and wear a different pant yeah. and a different bob. But this is what I wear to have like dinner with girlfriends mm -hmm. for a holiday, you yeah. know. And for me, what I'm wearing right now is something that um, is ultra cozy, mm -hmm. right? If I were going to a recital, depending on the weather, yep. like I'm, I'm gonna wear this because it's in my mind. I'm going to like a little holiday recital here, so I feel really appropriate. I definitely feel like myself. I feel mm -hmm. festive. I don't feel like I've blended into the woodwork, but enough to stand. But little Charlie and Gabe will. Yeah. They'll, they'll get there. They'll be proud. Right? They won't be embarrassed that you're there wearing They're something. always embarrassed. Okay. That's a thing. Um, but I also have this on because the other category that I'm definitely wearing this 
is for holiday at home. Mm -hmm. So you friends see? are coming over and they're entertain you're entertaining the coziness. Yeah. It's right? like sculpture has interest, but it's still cozy. It's funny because we always do this, like we come out in something that's kind of adjacent because I'm wearing the sweater version and you're wearing the dress. I know, and we don't plan it. No, we really didn't. Funny. Um, and so for me, if I'm at home, I'm kind of funny. I don't like to wear heels in my house. Yeah. We don't wear shoes in the house, actually. Uh, it's good for your wood floors to not wear. I know, but it really can fuck with your outfit if you show up at a party and people are like, take your shoes off. And That's like, true. It that happened last week. the shoe. I had this, I had this on with yeah. socks and I was like, this isn't the vibe. I should have brought my own slippers. I, Bring your well, own slippers. B-Y-O-S. That's a thing. Actually, do you mind grabbing the gold and the silver slippers? Yeah, I'll go grab um, some too. So I've got our old Sherling slippers here, but really this is one that if I were at home and I was having you guys over for dinner and we were all planning on just sitting around the couch and playing Pictionary or something, this is definitely the vibe that I would be going for. So here, when I talk about tools that you want in your closet for entertaining at home or home for the holidays, because I would also do this at, you know, Christmas dinner at my house, or if we are lighting a menorah, these are the things that I would definitely wear. And um, I think what's great is you can just dial it up or down by the jewelry and you are cozy, but you are appropriate. And we know we keep bringing up my sister Leslie, but this is the thing that when we all agree that you're not gonna get overly dressed up and you certainly don't wanna send out a dress code for your table, for your kids, you're not like, I mean, I'm not gonna be like coat and tie at the table, no. Um, not, I mean, not just not at our house, right? So, yeah. but I wanna, it's still festive time. We're at home now. Yeah, I look. You are at home. Yeah, I'm cozy. And so your gold shoe is like such a nod to a moment happening, which by the way, the gold shoes are coming. They are on shortly. the way soon. Um, so the tools that you want in your closet are, these are kind of our regular clothes, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm wearing this with the brown boot to the office. Yep. You're wearing this in an airport, wherever, yep, right? Totally. But the tools in your closet that really can dial something up, that valve that we talk about a lot, they become important. So I'm gonna do a sub stack tomorrow that's got a lot of recommendations because mm -hmm. we know um, these are Balenciaga. However, I love completed works for yes. that tool for really giving like Pop a color. really amped up vibe. Yeah, really, really amp things up. I did completed works, it's an amazing company, amazing owner and designer. So you've got the splash of the gold and that's another tool in mm -hmm. your closet, like having that gold shoe to be able to throw on that just takes everything and puts it in that festive wall. Totally. If I were doing something a little bit festive but informal, I'd wear the Victor. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the keys for entertaining at home, something cozy, something that you can sit on the couch, but it doesn't look like you are actually laying on the couch to watch yes. like back to back. You weren't on the couch products. all day. Yeah, you weren't on the couch all day. Yeah. Um, and then some little like slipper action and the jewelry action yeah. keeps it right at home. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. Next, guys. Why don't you guys come up together? You're so like, again, accidentally coordinated. Or not. Well, I read way down on the substack, like the little tiny paragraph that was like, and if you're going somewhere warm, and I was like, oh, I am. Ding, ding, Wait, ding. where are you going? Going to Barbados on uh -huh. Saturday. Yeah, that's right. Bye. We're all jealous. Bye. <laughs> um. So yeah. Wow. Friendly, really. Yeah, it's because we spend so much time together. It's very true. <laughs> um, so I guess I will start. Um, I'm wearing the slip camisole and slip skirt in gray fog. Mm -hmm. Gray fog. Gray, gray fog. Really? Nice. Okay. All right. Gray and fog. the Mikhail ballet slipper in red. Um, I'm wearing a double zero in both, and those are my sizes. And I, like Amy said, I'm going to a warm weather place on Saturday. And so I am, you know, really looking at our resort and winter collections and kind of seeing how they will work for me with the temperature change. Yeah. And I think that's really the great thing about Tibby and the brand is that, you know, when we're designing, we're always thinking about the versatility and the utility of our pieces and, you know, just, the amount of time that you want to be able to wear something. I mean, as you most of you guys know, 
you know, we have 12 mowers, which are kind of this year-round seasonless staples in and outs, which you really dig into your wardrobe at like high at the high season, so summer and then winter. Um, but for me, this slip set really is so universal, so seasonless. I think it's really good transitional separates as well. So that for those like tweener periods, um, so for example, like when I'm on vacation, maybe I'll be wearing a bathing suit and the skirt and I'll go to lunch. So, you know, we really want these pieces to work for you and to like really put in the work in your wardrobe, not just something you look at and admire, take out once a year. And I think it's really this, like, you know, they are your valve pieces, they like serve a purpose. And that's why I think during seasons, we don't just, you know, all sweaters for winter, all sweaters, totally. because there's, you know, purpose behind this, you know, silhouettes and the things that we bring in. It's because of what we're needing in our wardrobe that serve a purpose throughout the year, not just for a specific totally. occasion, for a specific season, or anything to that end. Do you want to tell us about your, I love this color combination. Mm -hmm. I stole it from you. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to an email here. Yeah, you. Um, yeah, no, I mean, we just restocked these sweaters. Um, yeah. This is the cashmere cocoon mm -hmm. tunic yeah. with the double removable sleeves, which I really love and I think is very versatile, you know, especially for like an office party or a home event totally. where temperatures are fluctuating, air conditioning is different, you're mm -hmm. going outside for someone, you know, something inside for another thing running around all day. Totally. It's really easy to kind of throw around and adds an extra level of dimension or a more quote unquote dressy part totally. if you're, you know, in the office all day and then you have the office party, you're like, well, I might as well just create a little scuff. Yeah. And I, you know, actually this is the cyan pan in the citrine is my favorite colorway. Absolutely. Um, my favorite. Yeah. Like I can wax to how I am about it. <laughs> um, because I just love that it really picks up whatever tone you're wearing on top. So like yeah. if you were going to wear something that was green, it would definitely have those cooler undertones. Yeah. I think it's up a little bit of warm with the red Absolutely. and I think it's a little bit more surprising I mean don't get me wrong they come in silver and they come in black as mm -hmm. well but I think there's something really interesting this kind of you know ring three no color mm -hmm. color vibe that makes yeah. it really versatile and I have to say so I actually own the brown ones from summer and these yellow ones and I was recently down in Florida for Thanksgiving I wore the yellow ones five times. I, of course I wore the brown ones, but this yellow color for me was really easy. It was my ring three neutral totally. color, no color that I was wearing with, you know, browns. I was wearing whites. I was wearing it with greens. Um, and it just really was kind of that piece yeah. that was my grounding, mm -hmm. almost and I, fundamental. And I think also like, you know, it's got an elastic waistband, so it's not a, um, you can see that, but it's the, the same as the summer satin. Same as the shape. summer one. So that offers you know, different opportunities for styling. I think also we're always keeping, again, utility in mind. So the pockets are great. And then there's a back cargo yeah. pocket as well. So, you know, it's taking something that may have like a pajama-esque quality, but kind of turning it up a notch by adding in those details. Yeah, and I think it's really great. You know, you can obviously wear this as an at-home holiday okay. event with no shoes or with the McHale you know, mm -hmm. flat and, you know, the gold or something like that. But it's really great, you know, because it can sort of act as a pajama pant and then I, you lean into an antonym of, oh, maybe a heel, and then you don't feel that overdress or the over totally. femininity or the over anything because you're finding the balance between the items and the way the silhouettes work together. I mean, these are the pants that I like wear on my couch. And yeah. then it's like, oh, we're going somewhere. And I just get up and I change like a top or a shoe because I really yeah. do feel like they are, they can be casual and they are super cozy, but you know, we're never sacrificing fashion for no. fashion. And I think this color also really adds an element. To, oh, it's ready for the party. I know. Yeah. She's nice. Um, but yeah. All right, cool. We're in the squat. Scooch. Oh, they're both. Oh, my. Oh, there it is. Again, not on purpose, but on purpose. But you know, but it's tricky. <laughs> um, so here we are dressed for those events that are um, formal, but you don't want like all the formality because mm -hmm. life's too short sometimes for that much formality. Um, and then also I think ways to wear things to business, corporate events, where you can really play into the irony of yeah. the business moment and give it like the little like, 
Let me show you. You said it was business. This isn't business. This is pleasure. This is brunch with friends, dinner with friends. So yeah. let me shut that down for yeah. a sec. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's serious. I mean, I think that that's good to know that you can use a shirt like this, the banker shirt, and kind of open it up and be sexy, but also close it up and be classy. Yeah, so what you'll see is sometimes this tool in your closet that you would normally you would normally think of as like your work shirt, mm -hmm. simply by styling it differently, it becomes really incredible. And the yeah. reason why I actually did this, I don't have permission from her yet to show it, but uh -oh. I will later on is, you know, a woman uh, DM'd me from New Zealand this morning and she was wearing the taupe skirt mm -hmm. and she had on a burgundy and white stripe. I saw it, she DM'd you too. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I saved it. I was like, you no, that was yeah. I Okay, that was her That's so funny. This is, She's the one, she sent another one that had a denim skirt. And she's like. Okay, so all the way from New Zealand, you, you are totally influencing us. So, yes, I, would um, I think she got it at Muse. Course. Yep. Um, so the idea is tools in your closet that like upright, obvious, right? Like the tool that lifts everything up. But then there's a tool that with a styling twist can become something really, really different. And totally so I'm using the gold tool here for the black dress. Mm -hmm. And this is the same fabric as the skirt here. So it's got the ruching on the sleeves here. It's slightly drop in the waist. And it's a zipper back and it's got lots of nice stretch to it. Yeah. And then all these easy gathers. And you're wearing so, a four, right? I'm wearing the size four. Mm -hmm. And where I'm going right now in my head is this is something like if I were going to the ballet, if I were going to, you know, something that is like so nice and holiday in spirit. Yep. You really want it like feel you wanna feel it in the spirit too. Feel it. I wanna feel it in the spirit. You wanna feel it. You wanna yeah, I guess that's one of the things. Like we talk about feeling appropriate, feeling like yourself. But I think at this time of year, I think what anyone really yearns to feel is um, just a warmth that, you know, that the warmth that you get when you're just really thankful for, you know, just being here, being alive, and, and, and you know, if you're lucky, being with family and friends and everything. So um, that's a really good feeling. And... I wanted to show you here how one of the questions that we got a lot, too many mm -hmm. holding up for a sure. second. One of the questions we got a lot was, what do I wear to the office party, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and I think, you know, no one from Ogilvy Advertising wrote what I wear to the office party, or no one from Vogue wrote, <laughs> because, you know, those are yeah. simple, they're easy to work out. Yep. But the, the complicated ones are, you know, are you a lawyer? Are you going to, like, the real, you know, the the wood paneled walls and, you know, everyone's got a gimlet, a giblet, I don't know, like what? A gimlet? A what's goblet? A, go I, a goblet? No, like what's a really old school, like, cocktail, like? Gimlet. A gimlet, I'll have a gimlet. The youngest person in the whole wide world just Matt. said, a gimlet. <laughs> Are you drinking gimlets, Matt? Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, well, maybe, um, spicy. Maybe. <laughs> Clearly, but are. but we talked about one of the things with going to the holiday event is being able to be the Superman in the office. Right. Where you, you just know, did that. How like, can you really just change it up and you know be very thank you very appropriate during the day, just having that heel and of course I'm wearing socks, but we might disagree with that at the bar, but. Um, this is what I'm wearing during the day, and then yep. earrings. This is off. good. Smart. Done. So pragmatic. Done. This is like the height of CP. Yeah, because I, you know, I used to work at American Express, and it was like you always knew when it was holiday. the holiday party in the office because some people were literally lit up like a Christmas tree at their desk. Somebody right now is watching at their desk lit up. So they're like, we, we support you doing that, but there are options. <laughs> and there are options, exactly, exactly. And then you always knew the office party at night because there were so many people having fun. Down, we used to have it in the atrium at the World Trade Center. It would be so much fun, but then inevitably was the executive who was like, well, I did my PowerPoint and you know, and right. you're like, you're like, take off that tie and wrap it around your head. It off. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, this is about feeling appropriate uh, in the moment that you're in and still feeling like yourself. Can we talk about some fit points? I'm not going to take them. Okay. She was like, uh, ma'am.
give them back. I was like, Psh. but I think, remember with the drapey jersey before you've worn this with a sweatshirt. Yeah. So I really want to talk about how this is like a transitional dress that while you're wearing it in the holiday, you're going to wear it also another time with maybe the cocoon back, the cocoon. Yeah, because I actually am going, no, I am actually going someplace warm. Yep. For the holidays. Um, but I'm not going to take this because it's Key West. Okay. For the holidays. So I love Key Lime Pie, so please bring that back. I will bring you some Key Pie. Um, but the black feels too serious for that. And it does. When we they talk like about, yeah, exactly. So when we talk about like how to dress in a warmer environment, sometimes like the long sleeve, it, it just feels too serious. Yes. I at agree. the holiday time. Mm -hmm. So I want to go to the ballet. I'll be right back. Oh, you're going to, okay, nice. What are you seeing? We're my friends. So actually, I'm going oh, to Oh, why don't I talk about who won the... Okay. Um, okay, let me read it out. I'm really excited to announce this winner. And I have to tell you, this is how um, we, um, we ended up having to come down to a winner by picking uh, runners up out of a hat because there were so many, so many good ones. But I want to read to you what someone wrote here. This was, um, I'm especially excited about this one being chosen because they wrote to us about the store Copeland's. And Copeland's is in Columbia, South Carolina. And the reason why I'm so excited about it is Copeland's was the 13th store to ever carry Tibby. So I was always so indebted to Bruce and, um, and he and his brother owned it at the time together. And so I have, I'm really indebted to them and we have been partners you know, for 26 years and it's really incredible to see someone grow along with you. And I, I think when people grow together, that's, that's just phenomenal. So let's see, ah, oh, shit, these don't, you can't yeah. see. They're the fake one. No, they're so fake small. <laughs> Copeland's of South Carolina, for so many reasons, they are family owned. They treat their employees like part of the family. They remember everyone's name and even text you when they get something in that makes them think of you. And by the way, I remember when I was there one time, this big cake came and I was like, oh, and they're like, no, it's not for you. Ah. It's for like one of our customers. We know she's coming in today and it's her birthday. And it's a surprise. And I was like, that is so cool. Nice. Um, they make their customers feel so special and even customized an embroidery cashmere sweater for my grandmother and gave it to her for Christmas. And I gave it to her for Christmas last year. She still talks about it. Um, they have experienced hardship getting through the great flood of 2015. And anyway, something else I'm not going to mention here, but it broke my heart. Um, Anyways, the city of Columbia would not be the same without them. That is true. We love Bruce and his family. And I'm so excited that this person um, chose them. So they're just the best guys. And trust me, like I've been through a lot with Bruce and I can't say that with these bigger, bigger stores. And it's, it's not, the bigger stores aren't bad. It's just a business model that doesn't work for independent brands and companies and I think that all of you guys when you tell me that you're seeking something new and that you're tired of seeing things everywhere what you're really saying is I'm just tired of everything looking like a commodity and, yeah, and like, just treat it like it's all come off of a um, you know off of a, a line whatever What's how they treat you too, right? Because if you go into the big stores and they treat you, they don't like, even treat you bad. They just aren't there, right? But I'm saying they, they can't give you the extra because yeah. they don't have the capacity. So, anyways, um, this woman who wrote this beautiful note about this beautiful store won this. Um, I'm definitely going to post though the tons of letters that we received about Shani Vice, Max, um, Sabo in Atlanta. Just people could not say enough. You know, Vestibule in Switzerland. These are all our great stores. And actually, if you do check out my Substack, please, I'll repost it. But I did a shopping guide pulling out my favorite pieces, not Tibby pieces, other pieces the from pieces. other brands that are perfect gift items that you can shop at all these wonderful specialty stores. Sweet. So, all right, talk about where you're going. Yeah. And why don't so I'm going to see Revelations, it? Alvin Ailey. I'm really excited oh. about that. The baby loves dance. Oh, I am also dance the baby. For them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Dance for them. Okay. 
Yeah, so I think right. that this is something that I'll feel good in. I'll feel like I've given the show the respect it deserves by mm -hmm. dressing up and like showing some decorum, but also I won't be like, you know, this, I am the major, you know, I want to have like a ball gown and yeah. I feel good about it. And I'll be able to kind of transition from work yeah. to go there, so. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm wearing the Liam, detachable Liam in size large and the compact cashmere in size extra large, which we know if you get this, has a bit of give, but it is forgiving and you should take your regular size, you should yeah. size down. Even and though it does like hug the body. Yeah. It's not, it's not tight hug. Someone asked me, I like watch this girl like Christy Sarah and she always does these things. And someone asked me if this is clingy at the bottom. I'm like, yeah, it is clingy, but you, you can like jump and do all the movements. She's like Dorothy, like, click your heels three times. Look, I'm just saying it has give. This is a size 14, so. There's room to move well, but also it's good. Yeah. Anyway, it's a good and this was the one you wore, what, three lives ago where you had the zipper in the front and you yes. turned around? Yes, yes, I had it on yeah, with yeah. the cardigan. So now for a holiday event, I'm going to wear this out to dinner and to see Revelations. Let's see yeah. how, you, how you multi use your clothes. That was not I'm with denim. I'll throw it on with the Sid too. Yeah. I mean, it'll be good. Yeah, yeah. But talk about this because this is yummy. I've never seen you in this color. I know. I actually love this color. I think it's a very strong, not only holiday, but sort of closet fundamental ring three utilize all the time color mm -hmm. um, and it's really fun to kind of wear together I am wearing the mohair crew neck I will show you sorry this is the we have two versions of the crew neck of the mohair crew neck this season one is a bit shorter one is a bit longer I am wearing the longer one um, and I just tucked it right in and did a little front tuck um, because I really liked the elastic waist of this pant. It has a drawstring, right? Yeah, it has a drawstring along with an elastic waist, which I think is really great for holidays at home, holidays around the table, and, you know, just kind of the ease and comfort of a pant that's not restricting you and not, right. you know, you know, confining you. It is a wide leg. It is very similar in shape, I would say, to the Scion Satin and the yes. Summer Satin pant, right? It's that straight. It's a little less wide leg. Yeah. Um, and more of a straight leg. I mean, like all of ours, you're wearing it kind of like a jogger now. You've tucked it in. Yeah, so you can do I a tucked little... in the back of the pants to the McHale just because this is a size small and I'm 5'2 and I would probably hem mine if I got them in my size, which I did hem the Scion one. I also want to talk about A, color, B, fabric, because you're wearing garnet in yeah. two shades and every time you move yeah. I get a different glimmer yeah. of what this velvet is doing because that's yeah. the life and that's the nature of velvet but you're wearing it against the friction of having this sweater which is kind mm -hmm. of matte yeah. and yeah it's and just I, two different textures but and I think still velvet's works. a really fun not only holiday fabrication but year round just because especially in a silhouette that is more like a jogger or the active knit shape that we have mm -hmm. um, this fabrication plays you know the sporty shape up and it kind of contradicts it which makes it really a great pant to have as a tool in your wardrobe. Cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's different, right? It's like yeah. black but different. Yes. No, I mean, you're like obvious. Captain obvious. Yes, it's different. Captain but obvious. No, cuz I think you had on two silhouettes that one yeah. would think at a glance are just a black outfit and it's not. Exactly. I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to show these because again, like the holiday time no, no, I'm just not. I know we're two different, like, we're yeah, we're different very different, different vibes right so, now. So exactly, just, like, very different. Um, so for me right now, um, I'm gonna, I'm going to like, a, again, one of those super traditional holiday moments where I just want to lean into that. Like, I just name one. Like, it's a, so actually, Christmas caroling. No, it's my. <laughs> So no. for, my, for my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, Frank, on I'm, Monday. I really, this is a very good one. So we've got like second row seats at Madison Square Garden to watch, to go see Andre Bocelli. Oh, wow. And we're gonna stay at the Peninsula and eat at a fabulous French restaurant. This so it's it. like the ultimate like New York moment. Yeah. It's the holidays, it's like, yeah, it's, it's so lovely. I know. I'm very, very excited about it, so uh, I can't wait. But I want to show you this. We were talking earlier about how we don't wear black in, when it's like in a super hot environment that's vacation inspired. But sometimes you are in a hot environment that's not like overly vacation inspired. I mean, I think Florida is a good example of that where it's hot out, but you're not necessarily on vacation all the time. And I know that because I had to live in Fort Lauderdale for a hot minute. And I say had because it was 20 years ago and that's not the Fort Lauderdale that it is today. It's more than 20 years ago. Time goes by. Um, 
But anyways, um, so you still want to feel modern, but it is warm out. So, and I would say too, like Phoenix, um, Phoenix, Arizona, any like, I don't know, how hot is it in Italy right now? Like, I mean, at the tip of the boot. Oh, no. The yeah. tip of the boot. The tip of the boot, at the toe. Um, but this is something too that like, I feel like kind of the hostess with the mostest, like just, um, like very put together. Now this sweater, this is the um, heavy plied cashmere sweater. And what I want to explain is what I mean by plied is it is plied with lycra, not a huge percentage of lycra, but it has lycra in it that gives it all the body and strength. So that when you're wearing a cashmere that is close to the body like this, you want it to like, like give a little suckage there. And it does that because of the lycra. When you do not have the lycra in it and it sucks to you, that's where it's kind of like, you know, I could see like a bump on your back when that happens. But the lycra is what, you know, it's kind of like shapewear, right? But it's in a heavy cashmere. Is it hot there? It's about 60 degrees on average. Not too hot. Not too hot. Yeah. For modern, it'll be. Uh... There's going to be rain on Saturday and Sunday. If you're going to Italy, just, okay. and the tip of the boot. No, no. Um, I am wearing a size small in the sweater. You can see this is definitely shrunken. And it's also designed, I, my, I'm just fish belly white here, but you know, I just want to show you too, like you can wear this cropped and with a really, really flat sandal. And I think that would give you vacation. It's still not Key West vibes, but maybe it would give you Southern Spain at Christmas time, like holiday vibes. What's the weather there? What's the weather? <laughs> um, what's the weather there? Um, so then I want to show you the skirt here. I am wearing the size four. This is definitely designed to sit high waisted. It's why we did this sweater this length. They kiss very nicely. Um, my belly button is right here and the top of the waist is here. Now, I definitely still have Thanksgiving with me, so I would say maybe it actually would sit just a little bit lower if there wasn't this happening right now. Um, but I am wearing the size four. And this is the skirt fabric that makes all the good sound. It's got the dry fabrication. And some people have asked about some of our fabric contents and why the uh, content levels that we do. And the reason that you add in different materials in here like nylon is because it is what gives the stiffness and the rigor here. So if you were in a natural fabric, the only stiffness that you could get in a natural fabric would be like a thicker cotton mm -hmm. or a heavier a canvas. Wool. Right. Mm -hmm. So this allows for you to have a lot of modernity and something that is not too heavy at the end of the day. Cool. All right. Did you talk about the length of that, that compact? I did. It's good. I it, meet, it meets you where you are. Exactly. <laughs> where you want to be. I was like tank top under Amy said she's gonna wear a tank top. So could you note cool. that uh, the weather in southern Spain will get up to like sixty nine this week? The weather in southern Spain will get up to sixty nine this week. Later in the week. Yeah. Welcome to Tibby TV, where we tell you the weather. <laughs> no, so I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about events where you're going with things that you already own. A lot of you own the pleated skirt. Um, I've had questions about, is the pleated skirt something that's a little, like will add volume? And we do really super duper straight pleats that kind of lay flat. And so I'm wearing it with a, a fitted top. I normally don't do like a small fitted top on top, but I wanted to show you this guy. So this is like, Festive, festive. I'm wearing it in a size large. And if I were going to an event with a spouse where I had to be support, like not trophy, but also like, I mean, why are we even trophies? Do not quote me on that. I don't like that. But somewhere where I'm gonna be supporting someone that I care about in an event for the holidays where I wanna show up, but not kind of like shine brighter, then this is such a weird conversation. Stop me now, Matt, hello? No, no, no. Okay. I don't know. It happens. But anyway, this is what I would wear. So I think that this is an underutilized piece because of the um, pattern here. I really like wearing plaid. I wouldn't wear it with thread here. So I'm wearing it with the oh. skirt. Another thing that I would do, I would totally wear it with the scion. So this top with the scion with girlfriends hanging around at home, I feel like it gives me a lot of extra pizzazz with the shine and with the silver yeah i wear it with the silver 
Victor's. I want to show them too. So, another thing that I know on my Instagram stories I've been showing you guys that I've been wearing the Lux, the Lux jacket casually, but now since the season, wearing it to events, I put this on and immediately I look like I'm go going to the same place I was a few moments ago. Um, I'm just looking for my gray socks. I don't know where they are, but okay. so as you see, I well, put this on. She's gonna merchandise with you, me. Okay, yeah, I'm wearing it in the small. I took this in a medium um, because I prefer it. But you can see here that if I wore, if I went down to a small, I wouldn't be able to button the button here. So I absolutely think you can take large or, it's such I mean, a good you know, one size down from your regular. Huh? It's a really good. Coat. It is ripped. Like I put it on, I was like, oh, where are we going? I was like, okay. I mean, if I'm gonna do all black, like different textures, this is it. And this is like a beautiful quilt. Your, your silver victors? Oh yes, my silver victors. All right, I'm gonna show them. So I'm wait, you have on, are you at home? I am, this would be my holiday at home. This is cute. Um, this is the stirrup legging in a double zero, which is my size. And then this is the same little hair sweater um, that I was wearing with the velvet pants. Um, I just did a little front tuck into the um, legging and then I'm wearing the gym here and what I love and it's such a handy tool is throwing the stirrup under the heel because the gym is backless um, which is so great support but sometimes you just want to you know stay very solid and throwing it underneath is a great way to just perfect for you tall surface. guys that's adjustable it has like a little okay. button and two I'll try it. I can try and show that yeah yeah, what you're saying about being in support of somebody. Show you guys that you can. As like if you're going to a spouse's event or. Yeah, maybe not. Totally. Am I being allowed back? It's adjustable for my the vacation. Button. You are. You still look like you're in vacation, vacation now. Come on. I just want everyone to know <laughs> that I've been in vacation wear. Yes. And so it just like felt kind of inappropriate. I. But for the people that like remember when before we went to dubai when someone was like you're not going to need a sweater yeah and it was freezing yeah and they were lied because you, you lied to us it's really cold inside and that's how like hong kong same thing so you need things that can come on and come totally off. and i'm so i am packing this in the dark green for mm -hmm. key west oh like perfect. that's absolutely christmas time outfit for sure and um so where are you going on this you're in well this is like what i'm wearing basically between the beach and dinner yeah. and then you know i'm wearing it with a sweater and then i'm just gonna slip on like a little gold sandal like yeah. the gym yeah and i'm gonna wear it out to like our last dinner yeah and that's it just feels yeah, like well, it's one is. of those things that like i'm feeling i'm wearing it in a flat and i feel like very comfortable and i've added some you know just jewelry that feels very beachy very vacation but immediately you know if i took some of these necklaces off and put on a heel and you know, slick my hair back, it would have a totally different vibe. Yeah, so when we talk about the tools in your closet for when you're dressing for the holidays in a warm location, the key things are things you can take on and off. Mm -hmm. And then what are like just the little elements that give it like a holiday vibe? Totally. So you're wearing the red ballet slipper yeah. there, the red sandal, the gold, those totally. are just like little things totally and it becomes total holiday yeah and I think that's a really good way too if you're you know wearing something that may be more associated with like beach wear or resort yeah. wear like really just leaning into something that has a little glitter something yeah. that is a seasonal color yeah. um it'll just like make you it'll put you in that spirit without you know looking like a hyper and disco ball yeah because I think like when I'm in Key West I actually think just the navy velvet pants okay. if I were going out to dinner with like a little flat sandal and then the blue sweater over my shoulders yeah. like or around my waist. But that's a great way to wear kind of like this in and out fabric. And in something that's that rich. Exactly. I think, yeah, because you have that like you have that ickiness and you really have that rich color by, by pairing it with a flat and putting this over your shoulder. It really is like those styling nuances yeah. that totally make it appropriate for your geographical location. Well, and what's interesting too is, you know, if, if any of you guys reside in a warm climate, like in Arizona or like in Southern Florida, what you know is you could always tell when there was someone from out of town there mm -hmm. because they would go out to dinner in like a white cotton poplin skirt 
and a poplar top in January, right? Yeah. And so you know that when you live in these warmer places, even though it's still warm out, you still like crave the feeling of fall and winter totally. and the holidays. And I mean, like there's the air conditioning, like it's still, depending where you are, it still can get cool at night. You yeah. just, you when, crave that when coziness. I it. So I will wear this in Key West, but I also put this on because this is my ultimate like holiday at home. Like mm -hmm. if, if we're having a nice dinner, if it's time for like, Christmas lunch and I'm in Georgia with my parents like this is absolutely what I'm wearing and I've got on the little slipper with it but actually you know to be honest the way that we are at home I'm not even wearing a slipper like that I'm just going to take like a pair of the cashmere socks and I'm going to tuck my pants into them and then this is when we're just sitting around yeah. like I feel so, I don't have pants dragging the floor. Yeah. I'm not blinked out. I don't have my big earrings yeah. on here. I'm just really, you really like, like at your like fundamental core, like the pieces that you really live in that you feel comfortable in, Yeah, but you still feel like you. Yeah, and this, you know, this is not like, Tracy and I don't design this stuff and then figure out later on, like right. where we're wearing it. You know, when we were designing this, it was so much in the mode of how can I be at home? How can I be completely effortless? But how can I still feel like myself? And how can it be more refined than not? So yes, this, I this mean, is how that comes It's definitely together. one of those things, you know, you're on day like five of the holiday mm -hmm. and you know, you really just like you're done dressing up, but you don't, you don't want to put on like the legging and the like no. old track t-shirt. Like you really just, you still want to present yourself. Well, and Couture is in this vibe here as well. And so I wanna show you one of the tricks. I've been talking a lot about color math. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is the idea of wearing colors that are all within one ring. That's when things just take on such a great amount of ease. And so if you are dressing for at home, if I had on a white top with this, mm -hmm. it would feel so much more outfit -y. Yeah. But since it's all within the same ring, it feels like, oh, look, mom's dressed up, but no one's coming into the kitchen saying, where are you going? Yeah. Except I felt for like my I was... sister that says that shit to me. When I have an event. <laughs> yeah. We love you, sister. I know. <laughs> She's the best. If you're there, we love yeah. you. Um, yeah, if I have an event at my house, which I'm planning on doing, I probably will wear something like this and yeah. just wear slippers. If yeah. I went out, I would totally just put on the Victor, just yeah. for a monochromatic, like, easy look. These are the same colors of wood, but two yeah. different fabrications. So when you're entertaining at home, the cheat here is really look at living within one ring of the color wheel. So your CP math is like one plus two plus one or three plus three plus three. So easy math there. Um, <laughs> and yes, this is going to be coming out for real soon. Matt, the inventor of it over here is very excited. Patent pending. <laughs> Matt's like, commission, please. Amy, someone sent a DM and said, if I'm wearing this, should I be wearing it against this? She was just kind of jumping around and I no. Yep. No, you just either stay on the ring or the further away the rings are, the higher the contrast. So you're going to feel sharper as a result of that higher contrast. Um, okay, I think that's done. We don't have any, we don't have any more outfits, do we? Yep. Hey, Sarah, are you getting dressed? She's done. <laughs> no. She's done. <laughs> it's She's a wrap. Done. We have a huge photo shoot tomorrow. So Sarah and Brent, like, we are just done. beat. Um, okay, so let's come on and say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. No, wait, I'll, I'll go on the other side. So oh, wait, no, we want to say goodbye because you are on vacation oh, next yeah, week. Yeah. And you're not going to be here oh, yeah. for um, IG style class. Yeah. We'll so we'll just you dial you up. In the, see you guys in 2024. Like, <laughs> think about it. Um, <laughs> all right, so you'll see them in 2024. Mm -hmm. Turn, I'll be here. We'll see you next week. Next week, and, um, and it'll be a good one. It'll be the send off into 2024. Wait. But are we giving away something next week? We are. So we're giving away something, but you have to tune in. Yeah, but it'll be good. I don't know what it is yet. I'm I don't sorry. know if you can talk. Just, yeah. 
It's coming. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but I'll think of something really good. So stay tuned, and we will see, Katura and I will see you next week, and this one is going to be a little Enjoy your vacation. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.